All right, what's up guys and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. You know, at first I was debating whether I should make this a series or not. And honestly, after the first episode, I was like, I don't know, man. I I think I should probably make this into a series. Even though we played this game about two years ago or so here on the channel, as most of you know, it just got re-released on the next gen consoles with finally a smooth 60 FPS 4K the works it doesn't look like a world of a difference but just playing it feels much better um if you were to play it on console um you know in the previous versions it just feels much better and it's always a blast to just come back with the gang and listen to all the shenanigans that they say and just witness what they do because the game gets absolutely crazy so if you saw the first episode it was basically just an introduction to the characters we still haven't met trevor kind of sort of we did in the beginning but as far as for like the main story he still has not yet arrived he comes out later on but we got a little bit of an introduction as to who franklin is who he rolls with lamar who is one of the funniest characters in gaming ever and of course we've got michael who's like the richer more proper dude but he's you know undercover kind of gangster if you will I don't know, man. I just love this game. This game is so fun. If you guys won multiple episodes daily, I will be pumping them out as as far as, you know, or I should say as much as you guys want me to. You know, the better the videos do, the more that we'll go ahead and, and drop these videos out. But anyways, enough of that. Check out the text message that my wife just sent me. You bought that court, but you never use it. My grip and ball control has definitely improved. Coach is V hard on me. I don't know what to take of that. It's like a double meaning message. Like, yeah, he's training her real good, but he's also training her real good, if you know what I mean. And honestly, I'm just not down with that, all right? Look at this dork over here. Is he here or this is just pedestrians? These are just pedestrians. I'm totally getting laid and shit. <laughs> I'm totally getting laid. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go over here to this mission that we've got here i don't know if i should tackle some side quests within this playthrough um just depends if the videos really do well then we'll, we'll probably do side quests and stuff uh, sorry about that didn't mean to get all crazy but here we go let's see what we got here can i drive up there oh god all right, you know what? That looks dangerous. That was dangerous. What do we got here? Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reefer. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want to drive? <laughs> nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grow it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. Passport to Nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. <laughs> what it's is this? Pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get too near. Oh, the fuck! What the hell? What the frick? I've never done this before. <laughs> I've never done this side mission before. That's hilarious. Yo, that is freaking hilarious. Man, you gotta be really fucking stoned.
Holy hell. Are we finished yet? Any more of you freaks out there? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, feel so good. And after that, you see, <laughs> the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is <laughs> complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discuss globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. So, uh, that was fun. Um, my boy just smoked a pound of weed. No, not really. That was like very, that was like one, two hits, maybe max. And, uh, we were literally fighting aliens and, uh, trying to not get abducted. But then again, that's the beauty of a Grand Theft Auto game. One day you're driving, and then the next second you're just high as a kite. What can I say? Don't act like a tough guy. Yeah, don't act like a tough guy. I gotta go to my wife now. Gotta go to my wife and kids and just make sure she's not banging the tennis coach. Alright, so we're going. I think we're going home now. I'm not sure if that's where we're going, but it looks, it looks like that's where we're going. I've actually never done that side mission before, which was uh, was pretty interesting to see. I know that there's another time in the story eventually where I don't know if it was was it was it Michael that he hallucinates with aliens as well? Was that a part of the story later on? I don't remember. Well, here we are. This is my house. Jesus. We have arrived at my house. Here we go. This is Michael's safe house, so you can save vehicles by parking them in the garage. The car that I came in, that's definitely not a car that I'm going to be saving in my garage. It is absolute trash. So sleep in the bed to save your game. And why do I have the gun out, man? What's going on? This is dangerous. Is it inside the house? Here we go. Wait a minute. Did it? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't I have the music off, dude? I'm probably going to have to uh, mute this here because I know for a fact this gives me a copyright strike. This man. <laughs> There's Franklin. <laughs> That's so random, dude. really serious about that what uh, you're here whatever sit you're not gonna rob me again man I never robbed you that was just a repossession okay you call it whatever you want to call it I really don't care what can I do for you shit I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with I see you doing well for yourself look I'm retired Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe... Just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day 
was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, with... shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. And this is how the friendship between Franklin and Michael begins. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, oh, but you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. Right, you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. Yeah, this looks nice, bro. Like, this, this right here looks nice. This looks really nice. There's the there, boat. There, there it is. <laughs> That's my boat. Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Let's go. We'll get Franklin close to, uh, close yeah, to the yacht. You got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover it. Oh, yeah, man. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing things. This is the old way. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me close, man. Stick on the hood, man. I'm not up here. Oh, man, get me this damn boat. Don't slip now. I can't do this shit from here. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, I don't want to... Oh, fuck this. Fuck. Oh, fuck. my goodness gracious. Shit. Shit. Ah, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your ass out of here. Oh hey, there ain't room up there for the both of you. Get rid of his ass. Oh, easy with those <laughs> That's right, baby. Let's go. He's a useless little shit. But he's my useless little shit. Hey, ain't you talking to me? Uh... Hey, shoot this motherfucker! Hey, you asshole! Get off hey, of it! Trying to kill me. Nice! Okay, so yeah, we're still in business, boys. Okay, now go find Jimmy! Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership! Yeah, and it's a long story, <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! Balls. Kid, watch out for the boom! This is the guy from the dealership! Oh my 
my god, I, got, I gotta go get Franklin. This is so intense, man. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Ah, shit. Hey, get the old damn thing. Right, here we go. Here, man. Get close. Right. Jesus. Remind me not to come to you for parenting advice. <laughs> parenting advice. That everyone? All right. Time to get the boat back. Do you think your therapist knows why you're fixating on this boat so much? Now that doesn't sound good. Hey, that's the engine, man. We ain't taking shit in this thing. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Ah, my fucking boat! Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, there's a chop shop back there, dog. If you drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. Right, so now we're gonna go back to Los Santos Customs. Or not back, we're gonna go to Los Santos Customs. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Frankly. Do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to head but the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Hey, Franklin, can you call me a cab? No problem! Up there, uh, go left. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at it. Jacqueline. Did it clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. Right. Ooh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. It dropped the bank off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You gonna get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. His son reminds me of uh, Jonah Hill. I always, always has. Driving to the repair and resprint customized vehicle. Get your vehicle resprayed to lose your wanted level. Get Amanda's car repaired. Come on, man. Let's get in there. Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. All right, we're just going to repair it. Up. Good as new. Not going to do anything else to it right now. Yeah, mom's down with whatever, dog. Church. It's a nice little whip, huh? That's supposed to be, what, like, an, uh, like a three series or something like that? Back in the days, uh, the three right, series man, you home. looked just like that. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. Or the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't it? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. Jizzle. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. And someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. 
Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting your resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. Exactly, man. Church. My brother from another mother. <laughs> Church. I, mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. If you guys realize his neck tattoo is called Entitled, or it says Entitled, that is fucking hilarious. Garage properties are now available to purchase. These will allow storage of vehicles purchased from websites driven to the garage. Yo, F Dog. I've added you on the life invader. Accept my request and we have to hang. Hit me up anytime, bro. Anytime we're going to chop it up. Peace. Jizzle. <laughs> Meet with friends. Can be arranged uh, to hang out after we make it. Okay. So if we take a look at the map here, we've got... Um, let's go over there. I think that's by our house, isn't it? By Franklin's house? Fine. Defriend me. Oh, Lamar. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Chop is not at Franklin's house. Franklin can interact with Chop. All right, we're going to take... Uh... Oh, fuck it. Let's take this car. We just came to deliver it, but now we're just gonna take it. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You're fucked, my boy. Fucked. Man, only it. I actually like the way the game looks when you're driving, man. It looks really nice. Very nice. Various events unfold in San Andreas. These events... Oh, shit! Will be complete. That's why I don't like reading, bro. Right, so we actually had a mission there for Michael. I completely missed it. It actually um, came up when I was driving over here. But we'll go back to it. No big deal. gonna go back over here and see what we got if it's a mission with Lamar I'm in there bro I love that dude's missions they're hilarious a lot of gang related missions at first too I think we are here right through the streets of the hood and we ought to be here in no time We go.
Well, there's a sign already in the house. This is beware of dog. Well, our prayers have been answered well. Hello. I don't want to know. Franklin. What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you stay? Anyway, magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble. Love. Yeah, yeah. Love. Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga. Look who's bizarre. What's, What's happening with it, man? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, he couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his you. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh, you missed me, huh? Nah, I ain't missed you. Your ass could have stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha, you got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Uh, I swear, man. Sprizzettes, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man? man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. But part of the nigga charm, man. Damn, <laughs> come on, man. This is move, man. You gonna drive a what, bro? <laughs> drive away. Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Part of his charm. Oh, Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit, not me. Shit. That's fucking gold. Let's go to the gun store. That is hilarious, bro. I remember specifically that same part last time and cracking Shit, up. Homie, you gonna drop all that bread on that gear? You might as well get a haircut too. Fucking crazy haired microphone, motherfucker. I got a microphone I can shove right in your prison pocket. Nigga, you walk like you keister and shit anyway. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. Man, that's some fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. Pyramids is good, man. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah. You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. Ooh, homie, get the shoddy with the flashlight on. Why the fuck am I the only one buying this? Cause we got sheets, homie. Now shut the fuck up and come on. There it is. Okay, so now you get the flashlight. <clears throat> now just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made Whoa. by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now let's go bust on some niggas. Take us down to that one spot where the base heads be taking their cans at. You know, on Friends in La Puerta. La Puerta. Wait, can I get uh do I have enough for the vest or no? Makes you proud to be an American. Oh, that's a parachute. Where's the vest? Does that this guy doesn't have any vest? Thanks for stopping in. Got this open here, bro? Alright, let's get out of here. Yo, these dudes are hilarious, bro. It's part of that. It's part of his charm, he said. 
That is hilarious. <laughs> I don't even have money for any of them. Oh, we're good. Shit. It's time to gang bang. You got some cans on some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situation? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my hunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably needs tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG. <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know? Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so <laughs> put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. Hey, we meeting them here. Let's man, go, how'd baby. you find this place? The homie set it up. This the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga. This man, bro, the audacity. <laughs> What's what up, up fool? fool? What up? We got it. that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? Everything cool? Yeah. Hold on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. Don't real yeah. recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what fuck the fuck up? this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody I see, see. On us? They put a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dog. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Fuck you. What's up with hey, we've been ball? set up, nigga. This shit fucked fuck up. Fuck you, nigga. You. Snake motherfuckers. Shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. We doing this or what? Come on. Oh, 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 You lay low, motherfucker. That ain't me. I can see that. Snitch ass fool thought we was marked. Now he ain't, ain't thinking shit. She. Cover me, homie. I'm gonna hit down, this. Fool. Fuck. Oh, God, Lamar. You, you good? Bang this motherfucker. <laughs> you going first next time, no fool. <laughs> shit, nigga. Then we all be dead. Nigga, Not me, nigga. CTF for life. Oh, shit. Ball of bitches. Oh, Lay down, stand up, bitch. Man, I ain't going down for you. I'm finna show you how an OG handle his shit. That's something I don't need to see. Man, I don't want your clumsy ass falling down these stairs, fool. They was a safety hazard before blood got spilled all over the place. Oh, God. That's a nasty ass shot. Better put some respect on my name, boys. The clock been ticking for a long time. Oh, man. Dumbass baby G. They got my number, man. Go ahead. Let's go, baby. Man, it's on in here. Get my when I see you boys, it's on sight. This Chamberlain gangster family's hit. Oh shit, these just dropped weapons. Oh, oh, oh damn, look at my health. Let me get the shoddy again, oh. just in case. You see that shit? It's on fire, man. Oh, this shotgun's got some range, bro. Man, pop me and get it over with. Oh, shit. Keep your head down. Bang this motherfucker. Oh my god. Burned alive. 
Cap that last dude, homie. Keep down, fool. Ha! Did you think to work out an exit while you set up this meet? There's always a way out, motherfucker. We gonna find it. <laughs> we gonna find it. Now that you pop that little pump, we really fucked. Man, you shouldn't have put me in the room with that snitch. Fuck! <laughs> Cops outside. I ain't going back. I'm gonna follow you for a minute. Oh shit. Hey, here's the exit. Through the fire exit. Come on. Hey, one time. All C and I gonna cause us some trouble. Clap him, homie. <laughs> Yo, this man out here taking out the popo, fucking SWAT team or whatever. No, it's not the SWAT team just yet, but almost. Damn, homie, watch that shit, fool. We almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, we almost out. Yo, this game is so freaking awesome. Skills. You ain't gotta worry about nothing, bro. We got this. This game is so fucking dope, man. It's Keep one thing to like re remember how good the game is. It's another thing to like really play it again and be like, fuck. Yeah, we're good. We good. We good. Nothing right just about this shit. Acting like big dog. I wish I was in jail, not running with you fools. Snitch? Oh my god. Yo. Man, leave us be, motherfuckers. Oh my god. They're right there, dude. You just picked me up on the side of the road. That's the story. Yeah, they caught us. Shady motherfucker. Oh my god, how? That's some bullshit. Conspicuous. Oh, dude, that's impossible. Cops care about us getting away. There we that's go. It. That's it. We Sheesh. lost. Him. Now take us somewhere where we can get it in, homie. Sheesh. I'm driving back to my crib, man. All right. Yeah, that took longer than expected. That took way longer than expected. What the heck was that hey, all what about? What the hell you brought me into back there? Shit, man, you the one popped his ass. I did the necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dog. This all on you, LD, lanky dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually, we ain't CGF for life, because all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie. Foreign gangsters. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nigga. 
You sounding more and more like a snee eye itch every day. Hell no, yeah. nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook ass nigga, I told you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark ass bitch. Long stretch. All right, so I'm actually gonna go here. We're gonna sleep. Hey, woo, hey. Ah, woo. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? oh dear God. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep here. Save the game and. Go to Michael's house during the day. Brand new day. Let's get it. Take the bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this. Get a little bit quicker. Green on green, baby. Let's go. <laughs> This looks awesome, bro. This looks really nice. Lamar says, uh, you moody motherfucker. I'm giving you a, that banger we boosted. Uh, left it at your aunt's crib. Oh, damn. A little too late for that, man. All right, we'll go back. We'll get it later. That's fine. <laughs> Gotta go meet somebody very important right now. Somebody is gonna give us some real jobs. Make some real money, you know what I'm saying? Now we're almost there. I'm I'm usually not likely to include all the traveling and driving and all that stuff from point A to point B, but since the game is you know, it's the beginning of the series and we uh you know, this game just released today. I'm, I'm gonna leave as much as possible so we get, you know, as much as possible. Then we'll start editing these episodes just a tad bit more. Oh, fuck! This is okay, gonna stop happening. Now to fuck my wife? This is gonna stop happening to me. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> Follow the tennis coach. You okay, homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. That's fucking awesome. I forgot what, uh... The fuck is he doing? Oh, oh she shit! Her butt, fucking hippie cock! Fuck, oh, man, I think you lost his say. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Are you fucking serious? Dennis coach got money, man. Shit. Ah, the fuck is he? Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You don't want to fucking help! He left his car, check it out. Little prick's up there, look. Oh shit, Coach doing alright for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, bud! You got the wrong idea, man! He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. You got the wrong idea, he said. What a guy, dude. What a fucking guy. There's a winch. In the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. 
Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud. But there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Oh, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Man, fucking drop it! <laughs> what a savage, bro. Absolute yeah. savage. Fuck, come on. Fuck, man, fuck. Oh, we did it. Fuck his ass. Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Just fucking terrified. Yeah. Green light, green light, Maki Madrazo, fuck you. Hey man, that's some mean looking motherfucking essays right behind you. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Try. Shit, man. Get rid of Oh god. I that motherfucker. What the fuck? Fuck him. I got one. Fuck him. Last time I checked, I got myself a shoddy. Y'all fucking with the wrong crew, man. I think you slipped, him, man. All right. All right. Let's go back home. <laughs> we are home, man. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. <laughs> Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Weapon accuracy, max ammo capacity, reload speed, and crosshair movement will improve. So shooting stats uh, increase. Uh, well, they did. So, that's good. This game looks awesome. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. <gasps> you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? Now, who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help. 
Oh, Mr. De Santa here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Ah! What did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuilds uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Uh, Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. <laughs> Don't fuck up, man. Marriage counseling. That was awesome. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <coughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go here. Wait, this is Lester. This is Michael's house. This is Lester. So now, a retired man needs to get back on the job, back on the horse, make some money, because he took down an architectural masterpiece. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Michael can now see Dr. Freelander. What a guy. What a guy. Oh, hold on. I think we missed the bus. Gotta go back here. Up through here, is it? Did I take the right turn? Yes. Hobbies and pastimes are available. Ammunition, strip club. Amanda, too soon to bring up tennis. Assume I'm not getting another coach. Wait, what did Amanda say? What did she say? I'm assuming I'm not getting another coach anytime soon, so I need someone to play uh, with. Worried my grip is getting loose. What a horrible wife, dude. What is going on with this street? Unbelievable, Michael. You could do better than that, man. Come on. What the hell is that? Shit! Stop! Please! Somebody help me! Alright, here we 
go. Lester, old Lester. Which house was it? The one with all the security cameras and shit, right? This one? Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get... That white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> go to the suburb, uh, suburban store in Vinewood. I'll take this bag. Drive down the alleyway. Actually, never mind. That's not an alleyway. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Wait, is it straight ahead or? I don't think so. Yes, this way. That GPS always confuses me when we're like in a highway and there's like 17 different exits. Not just in video games, real life too. It happens. GTA 6, we're gonna have the same characters. Hey, I would really love to see like these characters and then added like some of the characters from the previous games. Like I would love to see CJ back. I would love to see Tony. Uh, that, that would be so cool. I don't know. I think that'd be awesome. Is it here? Suburban. Finally, some new clothes. 
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. <laughs> that's horrible. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. What's happening? What do you think? The diet sucks. Alright. Here we go. Michael, I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. I thought that was Franklin. Holy smokes, that would have been hilarious. To the rear entrance. Is this the rear entrance? Life invader. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Yoga zone. Sweat lodge. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. <laughs> uh... Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Did he see <laughs> Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Scanning. <laughs> oh my god. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> they gotta send me on another one of those seminars. And that should do it. 
Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should do it. Make the prototype. You left the bag, genius. Wait, what was in the bag? Besides what we just put in the phone. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Hmm. How's your hair? Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive nude on it. If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas. Hi, where was the uh Let me get the door for you. Well, oh, thank you, sweetheart. So nice of you. Watch the keynote at Michael's house. Okay. Oh, perfect. Homeboy came with the right car. Yo, is that? That looked like Simeon, man. So uncouth. Hey, Michael. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Oh, fucking tits. No. Yeah. Yeah. What a talent. I have never <laughs> seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fantastic. The most racist guy in America. <laughs> America loves you. You are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full on weapons grade red alert world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Big cry populates. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. <laughs> the Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. 
but you know what they're not interested in sharing their technology so we went and made it compatible anyway now you can dock your life invader to an iFood phone or any other device and it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into life invader friendly information Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dog with me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no. Whoa! That is nuts. I'd be friggin' fucked up in the head after that, man. I'd, I'd be like... Yeah, bro. Not now. Nope. Michael can change clothes. At the, okay, yeah, let's go change clothes. This is looking quite horrible. <laughs> Last. That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. All right. Nice. My boys got suits. Where are the glasses? Tops, shoes, polo shirts, pants, glasses. No glasses? There we go. Street shades. Aviators. Alright, guys. So tell you what, we just blew up that guy's face. He died. It was quite insane. So Martin says, Michael, my money, where is it? Do you want me to visit you again next time? It'll be so much worse. Martin. All right, so I'll tell you what, we're going to end it here. We're going to go ahead and meet up with Lester next time and obviously continue the story with Franklin and company and everybody else. And I'm pretty sure soon enough we'll meet uh, Trevor, which is going to get really crazy. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been episode two of Grand Theft Auto V Definitive Edition. If you guys enjoyed it and would like to see more episodes, make sure you drop it a like. Ups out the I just bit my tongue. I'm sorry. Make sure you guys drop it a like. Helps out the channel grow. And, uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. I'll catch you later.